How's it going guys? So about a month ago now, me and my diving club Dudley Dolphins took part in a 24 hour charity scuba dive for children in need. So the rules were pretty simple. From 6 p.m. on the Saturday, we had to have at least two divers in the water at all times for a whole 24 hours until 6 p.m. on the Sunday. So divers would jump in as they normally would and do their regular dive, whatever they wanted. And they'd finish the dive at this six metre platform that we have hidden under the surface of the water where there'll be a rope attached to a buoy. They pull down on the rope and that lets everyone know, watching from the surface, that they've finished their dive and they're ready for the next set of divers to go in. There was a line placed from the shore to the platform so that even in the pitch black, people could make their way to and from the platform. And on the platform, we had Pudsey Bear, who was a baton to pass over from diver to diver. And he went around all the dives with us. We could attach him to ourselves. And yeah, he just sort of floated along by. We also had a spare dive computer, weight, knife, and air cylinder in case anything were to go wrong and these were positioned for safety at the six meter platform so hopefully i explained that well enough let's go and see how it went you'll join me just after 6 pm after the first set of divers have got into the water enjoy So it's currently 6.45, dive buddy pair one have just got out of the water. We're starting to lose light now, so it's gonna be pretty hard to film. I'm due in at 12 a.m. for my first dive, so it's gonna be a dark one. I'm gonna take the GoPro in. We might see something, but I'm not very sure. But it's going well. Before we knew it, day turned into night and we were beginning to dive in complete darkness. At nearly 1 a.m. it was time for my first dive and we got the first look at the guy we'd be carrying around for a few dives over this night, Pudsey Bear. Even with a torch, we could only see a few feet in front of us, so it was really crucial that we stayed together. You'd think with it being the dead of night that there wouldn't be too much to see, but there was actually loads. These perch were everywhere and they were motionless laying on something. It's their version of sleeping. The fish would genuinely just be lying anywhere. On the reservoir bed, on some of the things we've sank in the water, on plants, they'd be anywhere, but as soon as you went near them, they'd swim away. This is a fairly small pike that we saw on the dive. It's quite common to come across these pike just floating in the middle of the water. They're usually waiting for some prey to come along so they can eat it, and when you go near them, they won't even move. They're like completely on that hunting mode. Or this one could have just been sleeping. So that was the end of my first dive. As a safety measure overnight, we'd lit up the platform that's beneath the surface so it was easier for us on the shore to see the boy being bobbed to let the next divers know they need to go in. It is now two o'clock in the morning. I've got coffee. And I'm currently dive managing for the next two hours before we go back in. It's gonna be a long night and it's very cold. It's around 3.45 a.m. now, and I'm jumping in for my second dive. I combined my second and third dive as they were pretty much straight after one another, but this is just showing you what it's like to jump in the water in the pitch black. Once again, we followed the line and made our way to the platform where we collected Pudsey Bear. We came across another very small perch sleeping on top of some plants. This is a much larger pike than the one we saw on the first dive, probably around double the length. I love how torpedo shaped their bodies are. It's now 6am and it's dive 3. I didn't film much of this dive. I don't know if you can tell, but I was basically a zombie. Whilst we were waiting for the next lot of divers to come in at the end of this dive, I did see a lot more perch sleeping on the 6 metre platform. What I didn't expect was to come up to daylight. It was a really weird thing going in in the pitch black of night and coming out to the first light of dawn, but it was a very cool thing to see. 
and it was a sign that we'd made it through the night. Well, it's been a very long and eventful night. It's currently 7.30 in the morning. I've done three dives. We're a little bit ahead of schedule, about an hour ahead of schedule. So I did the first dive around half 12, the second dive at half three, and then the dive just at 6 a.m. And we came out to daylight, which was pretty cool. So I'm gonna try and get my head down, because I'm not needed again now until half 11, probably half 12, if we're still an hour ahead when I wake up. I'm very tired. So sleeping wasn't very successful. Altogether, I've got about an hour's sleep and that's in between the sort of night dives you saw. I didn't get any then really, but I've got another dive now. It's light outside, so hopefully this should be an easier dive to film and I won't have to shine the torch on stuff. So let's go take a look. Let's see how that goes. 11.45 AM now and it's daylight and it's just amazing to not have to carry a torch and stick about half a meter away from each other. We of course collected Pudsey Bear and went along on our dive. With it being daylight, I could show off a lot more of what we have in the reservoir. This is a signpost pointing towards very famous dive sites abroad and in the UK. This is a sunken sailboat. It's really good to have this sort of stuff sunk where people are diving. They naturally attract fish and give them places to hide, which means as a diver, it's a really good place to go and see these fish. Remember earlier when I said it was really hard to get up close to perch when they're awake and about in the daylight? This is why, the second we even got close to them they started swimming off, whereas in the dead of night we could just go up to them and be as close as we wanted to them. A sunken car now, and usually this is a hot spot for some fish, especially eels. They like to tuck themselves away in the footwells or where the engine used to be. Unfortunately, nothing in here this time. If you look closely, you might be able to see a shoal of very small fish. So for what ended up being the last time for me, we put Pudsey Bear back for the next set of divers to collect. We pulled the boy to let the other people on the shore know we were ready, and the next set of divers jumped in. But we had a little bit of time to kill before then, so of course we did what any diver would do, and started to ride a bike. We followed the line back to shore, and got out of the water. So that was my last scheduled scuba dive of the day. There's one more scuba dive at 6 p.m. where everyone who's taking part is meant to go in. Unfortunately, as I came out of the water, my dry suit ripped, which means I won't be able to take part in that, but I'll get some footage of it. But yeah, it's been a really incredible experience. I'm very tired. We then had a photographer turn up to take some photos for the local newspaper, The Express and Star. Before we knew it, it was 5pm and the last two divers, Ryan and Gaz, made their way in the water for the last time on the 24 hour dive. For some reason, it was a really tense wait for all of us at the shore. We were just hoping something wouldn't go wrong so that they could successfully complete the dive. Well done, lads. So I thought this would be the end of the video, but it isn't. Various media outlets ended up hearing about the dive and we were featured in local newspapers, online articles, and even dive magazine articles. Perhaps the coolest thing of all is that the footage and the dive was featured on BBC Children in Need. Over at Netherton Reservoir in the Black Country, the Dudley Dolphins made a splash by raising £2,000 in a 24-hour non-stop dive.
So that's the end of the video. It was an amazing effort by every single person who was involved in the 24 hour charity scuba dive at Dudley Dolphins. As of recording, we've currently raised just under £3,000. At the top of the description, you'll find the Just Giving link. So if you can and you want to give, then feel free, try and get us over that £3,000 mark. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.